Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jen and this is Jen's Happy Home. And today I am doing my first empties video. So I've never attempted to do this before and I have a lot of empties. Like I even have stuff that's just sitting here in front of me that I could not fit in this little garbage can. And what happens with me is, and let me know in the comments below if the same thing happens to you, um, I tend to buy something, use it for a while, not completely use it up, and then buy something else so that my shower is just overflowing with so many different products and I don't throw it away obviously until I'm done using it. So I tend to have the same products in my shower forever and then all of a sudden one day they're all empty like at the same time. And that's where we're at today. So this is all of the um, products that I have been using over the winter and spring months and I just thought it would be fun to share with you. Okay, so I'll try to do this in some type of an order. So let's get started with the random body washes that I have used. Um, over the winter and spring months. I have these two by Philosophy. This one is Snow Angel and then this one is Shimmering Snow Lace. I actually just finished this one this morning and you can see it's still all bubbly inside because I was trying to rinse it out but um, just couldn't seem to get rid of those bubbles. But I do like the Philosophy products and what I like about them is you can use them as shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. So they're kind of like a multi-use product. Um, the scents are never overpowering in my experience with the fragrances that I've used in the past. They're always very subtle. They seem to be very moisturizing. They do not dry out my skin at all. And they have a large variety of different scents and um, they're really cute. I like how they kind of decorate them for the holidays. You can just see this has like all of the little Christmas candies and things going around. And then the Shimmering Snow Lace kind of has the same holiday theme and I think they're really nice for uh, gifts for teachers and for just anyone really, a friend. So those are two things that I actually received as a gift and I used both of those up over the winter months. Um, another body wash, this is pink and this is the pink warm and cozy. It's a two-in-one wash and scrub so it has a little bit of an exfoliant in it as well. This was okay, I didn't love it. It was a little bit too perfumey for me and I don't like that. Um, and I really didn't care for the scent that much either, but in any event, we did use it up. So I thought I would share that with you too. I also have this Satin Care, it's the Sensitive Skin by Gillette. This is the um, shaving cream that I use all the time. I don't know if you're familiar with the Think Dirty app, but that, is an app that you can use on your phone to scan products to see if there's any harsh or dangerous chemicals in them. And I have a hard time with the app because I would say out of every 20 things that I scan, maybe one or two will actually be recognized on the app. So I kind of got away from it for a little while. But um, this is one of the items that I remember was approved by the app. So ever since then, this is uh, the shaving cream that I use. And then I have this, it's Pure Simplicity. This was by Bath & Body Works. It's a body oil. And this was a really moisturizing, great oil. Um, it's fragrance free, hypoallergenic, and it is made out of sunflower seed oil and flower extract, chamomile. It's just, um, you know, no harsh chemicals or anything like that. And I like to use this after I shower, but like while I'm still in the shower. So I would just put it on and then dry off and it seemed to work really well. I prefer doing that rather than moisturizing after the shower. I just, I don't know. I feel like if I can get it done while I'm still in the shower, it's quicker for me. I used this up like in no time. I used this rather quickly. And then I know I've talked about this one before. It's the Japanese Cherry Blossom Lotion by Bath & Body Works. This is my all time favorite fragrance. I'm not really huge into perfume, um, but when I do like a fragrance, I stick with it. And I've really liked this one for many years now. And it's just like my go-to fragrance. So I did use up this uh, moisturizer. And then I have a face wash. This is the Clear and Clean Deep Action Exfoliating Scrub. Um, this is by Johnson & Johnson. And this is great, especially if you're like having breakouts or if your skin is getting oily. Or for me, 
around the holidays when I was really indulging in a lot of chocolate and I was having some breakouts, uh, this worked really well. So I used this whole thing up. I have some other face products here. Um, this is an eye cream that I actually purchased on Amazon. Rosehip and Hibiscus eye cream. And it worked really well. It was very moisturizing. I uh, used it up rather quickly. I, I was using it like twice a day. I really liked the texture of it. It wasn't too greasy and it wasn't too dry either. Like I felt like I got the moisture that I needed. So this was definitely something um, that I used on a regular basis and really did like. And then I have the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. And this is just a face moisturizer. I have a couple of like these little samples that I got for Christmas. So I just thought the ones that I really enjoyed would be worth mentioning because maybe I will go back and get the larger size. So this is the Belief Face Cream. And then this is Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. And um, this was really easy to apply. I like how it was like very sheer, very easy to put on your face. Can you hear that chirping bird? I don't know if you can hear it as loud as I can, like right out my window. Um, but yeah, it says First Aid Beauty Fab. And I really liked this moisturizer. I definitely think I'm gonna go ahead and try to get a bigger container of this because it did work really well for me and it was nice to put on prior to putting on my makeup because it just gave me a really nice space and it made my makeup easier to apply. Okay, I have another bath wash here, a body wash and then shampoo and conditioner. These H2O products from Disney, I like really stocked up on these. Um, I have the Sea Marine Revitalizing Conditioner, and then this is the Sea Marine Revitalizing Shampoo, and then I also had the Sea Salt Body Wash, and here, there's a couple of them here. When I'm missing Disney, one of the things I like to do is pull out some of the uh, products that they gave us in our room. It just reminds me of the trip, and I really, really do like all of the H2O products that they give you in the Disney Resort, so I went through a whole bunch of these. <laughs> All right, let's move on to some shampoos and conditioners that I've used over the months. And I have this Chi Rosehip Oil Color Nurture Protecting Shampoo and Conditioner. These worked relatively well. Um, it took me a long time to get through them because it was one of the shampoos that I felt like didn't lather very much at all and I had to use a lot of it. And then I just kind of felt like my hair didn't feel clean enough. So when I initially used it, I liked it a lot, but after using it for like a couple of weeks in a row, I just felt like my hair wasn't getting clean enough. I like to have a little bit of a lather. I know um, a lot of, especially the nicer shampoos, don't seem to have much of a lather to them, but I need something. <laughs> like I need to feel like I'm washing suds away or my hair just doesn't feel clean to me. So that was my only gripe with this by Chi. And I'll leave links to everything in the description below that I can find for you guys if you want to try any of these products yourself. And then there was the Nexus Therapy Shampoo and Conditioner. This is the Caviar Complex. And these I really did like a lot. One had a little bit of a coconut smell and one did not. So like the smells didn't match to me well enough for some reason. They didn't I don't know. I guess they're slightly different from each other because this one was the therapy and this one is the Eumectris. So one had the coconut smell and one did not. And I did really like the coconut scent. So I might try to match it a little better next time. But in any event, I really did like both the shampoo and the conditioner. Um, highly recommend. You know, they had a really nice fragrance and they did lather up and the conditioner worked really good for my hair too. I also have um, this Biomega shampoo that I purchased from my hair salon. It was okay. I don't think I'll get it again. I think it was a little bit pricey. This is the moisturizing shampoo and I did have the conditioner to go along with it, but I did not save that container for whatever reason. Probably somebody in the family threw it out before I had a chance to grab it and hide it because I'm weird and hide my empty containers <laughs> so I could do a YouTube video about them. Um, but anyway, this was all right. I felt like it made my hair like not settle down enough, like it gave it a little bit too much body, which made it look frizzy. Um, I have really thick, coarse and frizzy hair. So like it, it takes a lot <laughs> to make it 
not look dry and frizzy and this just didn't really do the trick for me. And then another um, half of an item that I have because I have the Tresemme shampoo here but there's still like this much conditioner left so it's not completely empty yet. I am going to use it up but I have the shampoo and the conditioner. This is for curly hair. It's the Curl Hydration for curly or wavy hair and it's with vitamin B1 and this has a really nice smell to it. Um, it's weird because I got it for curly hair in the event that I wanted to wear my hair curly. My hair has a natural curl to it but it never looks nice enough for me to just like go natural so usually I end up blow drying it and using the straightening iron and trying to make it do things it doesn't want to do because I can never get a nice curl out of it and I thought this would help that. Didn't help it enough for me to go out into the real world with my hair like not straightened <laughs> but um it didn't really make it extra curly either so I was able to still use it and straighten my hair. It didn't add any curl to my hair. But anyway, I did like this. It made my hair feel clean and it smelled good and it's a good product and it was relatively inexpensive and I got these big jugs so it did last me a long time. And then I also have this Argan Oil from Morocco. It's by Hask and it's a repairing shampoo and I have the conditioner to match but again there's like a little tiny bit left so it's still in the shower. Um, but this was also okay. It was one of those shampoos that didn't lather enough for me so I felt like I had to use a whole bunch to get my hair to feel clean. Um, but it was okay. I liked the smell of it. It kind of had like an orange clementine citrus smell which I really really like. So I did like the fragrance of this and the uh, conditioner worked really good. The shampoo though, I just felt like I needed a little bit of a lather with it. And then the only thing that I have left are some of the hand lotions that I've been using because it has been really dry. That's the Burt's Bees hand cream. And this is just the ultimate care. So I keep this uh, right next to my bed at night. And then one of these EOS. I like these little EOS containers because they're really thin and you can slip them in your purse and they don't take up a lot of space. So I like to have these. I usually have a few of them just kind of lying around in my purse, in my car, in my desk drawer. Just keep them out and about so I can moisturize whenever I need to. And that is all of my empties, I think. Let me just make sure. <laughs> yes, that is all of them for the winter and spring of 2017 2018 i hope that you enjoyed this video again i've never attempted this before so if you did enjoy it please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and maybe i'll do it again for like the end of the summer or a summer fall type of thing and um, go ahead and follow me at jen's happy home on instagram i am trying to grow my family over there as well don't forget to subscribe what else thumbs up, subscribe, Instagram, and have a great week. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.